Hollywood's top movies racked up honors last night at the Academy Awards ceremony. La La Land led the pack with six Oscar wins. Moonlight followed with three, including Best Supporting Actor and Adapted Screenplay. And Moonlight won the most prestigious award, Best Picture, after you've heard about it all morning, a now infamous on-stage mix-up. Come on. La La Land. We lost, by the way, but, you, know you know. Guys, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, there's a, this, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. Come on, this is not a joke. Come this on. is not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. This is... This is not a joke. Moonlight has won Best Picture. Moonlight, Best Picture. Moonlight, Best Picture, let's say that again. Joining us from Los Angeles are Barry Jenkins. He's director of Moonlight. And the movie's writer, that's Terrell Alvin McCraney. They join us from Los Angeles. Congratulations, Barry. I want to start with you because I loved you on stage saying, to hell with dreams because this is true. But I want you both to take us back to that moment. What in the world were you thinking? Uh, you know, for me, I, I never dreamed that, uh, that I would be on a stage like that um, ever in my life. And uh, I think the reality was, you know, to say truth is stranger than fiction. Um, I think that was the moment I was living in. So uh, uh, a lot of things have come full circle. Barry and Terrell, obviously, I don't think anybody's ever going to forget your win now. But, <laughs> yeah. but, but did it in any way diminish the, the, the celebration for you? Uh, I don't know if it diminished the celebration uh, for us. It just made it uh, much more complicated. As you said, uh, I think the, the celebration is bound up now uh, between uh, our film, uh, La La Land, and the Academy um, in a very complicated way that I think as someone <laughs> born of Shakespearean uh, mm -hmm. a tragedy yes. uh, maybe is a bit more interesting. I don't know. Terrell. Yeah, well, I mean, it made it difficult to say all the thank yous we need to say, but at the same time, it was a it was a great way to uh, show the camaraderie and love that we we all had for for both of the films. So, Terrell, the film, of course, adapted from your work in Moonlight. Black boys look blue. For those who haven't seen this coming of age story, and now I know many people will flock to see this movie. What do you hope to convey and help people learn? Well, I think what Barry did in the film um, that's so impressive, that's served as a lightning rod, is he really put his full self in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, he really uh, took a movie, a uh, story about memories that I had given to him and, uh, and made it an experience about those memories, um, and made it an intimate experience. And I think that will and continues to be um, the reason why people have seen the film and will continue to see it. Um, I hope more people see it now. So that's really yeah. exciting. Um, this film that I, I really felt was, it, I mean, the first time he showed it to me, I felt so, uh, I don't know, I felt like he'd gone into my head and, and, like, and took pictures <laughs> of my memories and, yeah. and spread them across the screen. Wow. And That's so a now to have it out there in the world and to be, you know, <laughs> it won a best picture. Yeah. <laughs> you did that, brother. It really <laughs> you know, did. Sort of amazing. Uh, Barry, yeah. we remember when you were here at the table and you said that this was a shared biography between you and Terrell. So what does this mean to you personally? Uh, in, a, in a certain way, everything. Maybe I have to think uh, more of myself. Um, I don't, and I don't mean that in the sense of the movie won best picture. Best picture, but uh, you know, I had all these, these hope, these hopes of what I could do uh, with my life, and now uh, the ceiling on that um, has been radically uh, changed. Yeah, it's like that Pharrell song, Happiness Without a Roof. But I want to go back to that moment again, because I, I still can't stop. I sat at home, my mouth fell open, I couldn't believe it. And they kept saying, it's not a joke, it's not a joke. A, did you think it was a joke? And what happened backstage in the rest of the night? I'm very curious about how the night went for both of you. Yeah, no, I didn't think it was a joke at all, because I could see in Jordan's face that he was telling the truth. Yeah. Um, and so the first thing I did was give him a hug. I've probably given him... Uh, too many hugs at this point um, <laughs> because they were so gracious and compassionate um, in the way they ha the way they handled it. But uh, backstage, it was just uh, there were two things. One, we were trying to find each other, you know, to sort of uh, to share the moment, but also two to find uh, the other side of the aisle um, to to give them whatever comfort uh, they needed. Did the Academy in any way try to explain what happened to you at that point? Uh, I think I've been too busy uh, with the folks on our team uh, to even 
uh, hear anything, uh, but not not that I'm aware of at this point. I mean, they. I mean, I think everybody was just trying to make sure that we were all on the same page and exactly. and, and safe. I mean, that when something like that happens, you want to make sure that everybody is, you know, categorically okay. And I think um, they did a good, great job with that. I mean, at one point, uh, this guy Thomas held my hand uh, and walked me through the back because I was like, I don't know what's going on. Help me out. <laughs> so and then I found. <laughs> Once I found Barry, I think I think everything sort of settled in. Yeah, I thought it was so great how. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was so great how the La La team handled it too, because there they were on stage in the middle of accepting their speech, and they instantly everybody tried to correct the problem right away. I thought your side was gracious. I thought their side was gracious. It was nice to see something good come out of a, really an awful moment. Yeah, and I think that goes back to uh, the award season. Uh, typically, the award season is very contentious, but we've been spending a lot of time together, uh, kind of going through the same trials and tribulations, I would say. Um, and so I looked up at the stage, I could see Jordan's face, and I could see if I was in his place, yeah. Um, yeah. how I would feel. And I think they looked over at us, and they saw how, how we uh, had felt as well. Mm -hmm. Not a way either side necessarily wants to win or lose, but you end up with exactly. statues on your mantelpiece, <laughs> which is a pretty nice thing. For sure, for sure. And you won no, for we're adapted really screenplay too. So Barry, you had two. <laughs> you had two. Yeah. You guys, two last yeah. night. No, 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 no. no. We, we, we each actually uh, have one. You know, much love to our producers. The producers got one statue. We got the other. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I saw Dee Dee and Jeremy. I was very happy for Plan B. It was a great, great night. All right, Barry Jenkins, Terrell Alvin McCraney. Thank you both. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.